Well, it was a great peach belt game and you know give them credit they're you know they, these guys played them you know before christmas and they're a much improved team they had almost an entirely new roster so anytime you have that it's going to take some time but uh i told their staff and some of their players i said they're going to get a chance to win a lot of games down the stretch um but these guys right here they they buckled down and got stops when we needed to and, and got some tough baskets made some tough free throws um two of our captains here really stepped up along with a lot of other guys obviously a win's a win but your offense uh, there, especially in the first half, was bogged down a little bit, a little inconsistent. Mm -hmm. What do you think Columbus State was doing to kind of give you some issues? There? Well, their matchup zone is a little unusual, and they were switching up between man and zone and sometimes even mid-possession. So it created a little bit of hesitancy, I guess. But the second half, I thought these guys kind of found their rhythm a little bit and uh, got back to philosophically of doing a better job of attacking inside out. We shot a lot more free throws in the second half. And we got some better looks from three. We were 0 for 10 from three the first half. But we, you know, I think we made, you know, four the, the second half. Dave got a couple. JB got a couple. But our mentality was definitely more inside out that second half. Did struggle at times with defensive rebounding. They had 20 offensive rebounds. Yeah. Was that something you talked about with the team after the game? Is that something that you were worried about? <laughs> yeah, we, uh, you know, that's a focus of our our program, always will be. Um, but these guys got to understand, too, that, you know, when teams get ready to play the Braves, statistically, they, you know, they practice and they look at stats. And, you know, I, I told these guys going into the game, I think we were top five nationally in a lot of the rebound statistics. So that's going to be a big point of emphasis, whomever we play. And Columbus State's one of those teams that's big and athletic enough to, to battle inside and they had one guy that had 13 um that was probably the biggest different horton for them um and so i think these guys are aware of that and um i think um moving forward i, I made it usually when we get out rebound we get up at 6 a.m but i made a deal a double or nothing deal on the next one so we'll see if they come through on monday that's a question for david you had uh, 16 po uh, six points in the first half and then you had 14 in the second half were you looking to be aggressive in the second half? Or what changed for you there in the final 20 minutes? Um, the final 20 minutes, I was just taking what they gave me, whatever they gave me. Uh, my teammates did a good job of finding me, and I just tried to knock the shots. As a, as a guard and one of the primary ball handlers, what do you think they were doing defensively that you guys were able to adjust to to allow you guys to score a lot better in the second half? Um, just just me recognizing what they in early and um, just getting us into what we need to get in. And that's my job, so I got to do it. You know, you're only a, a redshirt sophomore, but it feels like watching you and the way you play, that you play like a senior, that you're a very experienced guard. What allows you to, to play like someone that's ahead of your years? Um, I think since I was younger, I always played with older guys. So um, I, think I feel like I had a good basketball IQ, and I just try to stay poised and you know, just do my job. And then for Akia, they uh, – rebounding a big, a big focus for you and then uh, in the second half it felt like you started to rebound better as well. Was that a big focus coming out of the locker room? Yeah, I, um, we've been struggling the last few games rebounding. The last game we played against Augusta, I only had three rebounds. So this game I wanted to come back and make an impact on the boards. And uh, being that Tyrell was out uh, again tonight, uh, having somebody like David there, what does that do for you guys as far as depth? Somebody else to step in? Well, um, yeah, we are blessed with depth. When you got guys like, um, you know, Micah that, you know, probably would start <laughs> a lot of places or Cam. I mean, those are guys that have been coming off the bench for us that could start a lot of places uh, in our league and around the region. Um, so we're blessed with that. And, and I, I know these guys and those guys coming in off the bench don't really look at it as, hey, I'm a starter, I'm a bench player. We're players. And, um, you know, we uh, – I think these guys have a lot of confidence in those guys as well. They have confidence in each other, and that, that goes a long way, the staff, everybody. Um, so we're, we are definitely fortunate to have that depth. And then, David, uh, was that something going into this game? Uh, he's not going to be here again, so I'm going to have to do something and step up. You have one of your highest scoring games of the season. Oh, uh, no, I just – he told us, he said, we ain't got to do nothing different. I was just focused on trying to play hard. And when the opportunity came, I just took advantage of it. Of course, like you were saying, you guys were over 10 from three in the first half. What's the same about your team? You guys were trying to put two points into the, uh, 
we're going to the second half. What was the question? I said, what does that say about your team? You guys uh, were 0 for 10 in the first half of uh, June 3. What's that say about your team? Well, we, we – we got good shooters, and we're going to shoot threes. We work on them every day, um, but we don't want to be a team that's dependent on the three-point shot to win. Um, it's kind of like icing on the cake. I think these guys know that even games we haven't shot it well, and it hasn't always been pretty, that we can still grit it out with our defense, with you know, a rebound and then attack and get in the free throw line. And if you do that consistently, we'll get some better looks like we did the second half. Dave knocked in some big ones, Shea B. Um, Somebody else made one, but maybe Cam. So, you know, we got some, uh, and we will, and we're going to continue to take good threes as long as, you know, we we play inside out and, um, you know, philosophically, whether regardless of what teams do defensively, we still got to have that aggressive mentality. And you mentioned uh, the rebounding. Um, Kia mentioned rebounding. Um, you guys have been struggling with that lately. So, uh, you know, as your top rebounding team, usually uh, in the nation, what do you guys need to do? Next game, try to handle that. This for me. Either, either one. Either one you <laughs> He's the one that's got to go. He's got someone that's got to go get him. <laughs> uh, I think we just got to make it more of a focus. I think sometimes throughout the season you can get lost and caught up in other things. So I think it's just the focus that we're gonna have to have the next game. Yeah, well, I think we are blessed too, not just to have guys like Akia that can go get him above the rim. Um, David almost can get him above the rim. But we have guards that also rebound the ball very well. And sometimes it's it's so physical inside. Akia may be battling a 6'9", 240-pound guy where the guard's got to go in there and clean it up. So we do have a, a lot of guys that, that can rebound the ball. And, um, you know, where it's not all, all that pressure isn't just on one one or two guys. It has to be a collective mentality. And, and you know, I, I think our guys know that, hey, we are – we were fortunate. We did enough to get to win, but let's continue to improve. And that's what it's all about. My question for Akia: You were um, 62 percent for the shooter on the year, but down the stretch, their two-point game went to the line and drained them both. What was going through your head there as you went to the free throw line? I mean, I just knew I had to focus all throughout the week. For the past three weeks, I've been getting extra free throws up before and after practice and stuff. So I just knew that was for that time, and I had to knock them down for the team. One thing that, you know, as a coach is a good feeling, even on days we try to give these guys time off, I walk by the gym and they're in there getting extra shots up on their own. You know, it's a group of guys that love the game. Um, their work ethic is tremendous. And so, you know, we, you know, as a coach, you don't have to schedule a lot of practice time just for free throw shooting. We do a little bit in practice, but I know these guys are disciplined enough and to get in there on their own, and that's what it takes, that extra effort. I did want to give a shout out to our fans. We're great today. I know it's a, a kind of a holiday weekend with Martin Luther King, but we still had a great fan base. The the band was tremendous. You know, you had the cheerleaders and a lot of community folks that really came out. So appreciate that and hope to see them back here on uh, uh, Monday afternoon as well.